Normal cerebrospinal fluid or CSF is clear and colorless. Both infectious and non-infectious processes can alter the appearance of the cerebrospinal fluid. Cerebrospinal fluid will appear turbid if as few as 200 white blood cells per microliter or 400 red blood cells per microliter are present. Cerebrospinal fluid will appear grossly bloody if 6,000 or more red blood cells per microliter are present. Red blood cells rapidly lyse after entry into cerebrospinal fluid and cause xanthrochromia, a discoloration of the cerebrospinal fluid. The breakdown of hemoglobin first to oxyhemoglobin, which appears pink, and later to bilirubin, which appears yellow, leads to the yellow or pink discoloration of the cerebrospinal fluid known as xanthrochromia. Xanthrochromia is often used in the diagnosis of subarachnoid hemorrhage since xanthochromia can be detected as soon as 2 to 4 hours after red blood cells have entered the subarachnoid space. This means that as long as the lumbar puncture is performed at least 6 hours after the onset of the headache, the presence of xanthochromia is likely due to a subarachnoid hemorrhage and not likely due to a traumatic tap where the fluid would be frankly bloody and xanthochromia would not yet be present. Xanthochromia can also occur when the protein concentration of the cerebrospinal fluid is elevated above 150 mg per deciliter or may be caused by brain tumors, stroke, Guillain-Barre syndrome, and systemic disorders such as diabetes mellitus and hypothyroidism. Xanthochromia can also occur with systemic hyperbilirubinemia, defined as a serum bilirubin greater than 10 to 15 mg per deciliter due to liver disease. The cell count can be useful because cerebrospinal fluid is normally acellular. However, up to 5 white blood cells and 5 red blood cells per microliter are considered normal in adults when the cerebrospinal fluid is sampled by lumbar puncture. The presence of more than 3 polymorphonuclear leukocytes per microliter in CSF is abnormal in adults and indicates an infection. An elevated CSF white blood cell concentration does not diagnose an infection since increases in the CSF white blood cell concentration can occur in a variety of inflammatory states that can be infectious or non-infectious. The following caveats about the interpretation of cerebrospinal fluid cell counts may be useful. The cerebrospinal fluid cell count must always be correlated with clinical findings. Polymorphonuclear leukocytes predominate in the cerebrospinal fluid of as many as two-thirds of patients with viral meningitis due to enteroviruses. In these patients, a shift to lymphocytic predominance usually occurs within 12 to 24 hours. In comparison, Bacterial meningitis is characterized by the presence of neutrophils in the CSF. Lastly, note that the presence of eosinophils in the cerebrospinal fluid has limited diagnostic utility. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.